Hello, my name's Hemingway Jones, and this is Hemingway Jones Presents, when I get right to the point. Today we're going to speak about the top five fountain pens for your summer travel adventures. So let's roll right into it. So the first thing you need to do if you're going to go on an adventure is to get there. So if you're going to take a plane, there are some considerations about which fountain pen you should take with you. Vintage pens sometimes can cause problems with the ink expanding in the bladders and maybe leaking a little. So you want a pen that you can take confidently with you, perhaps do a little bit of journaling, a little writing on the plane. The best option for this, in my opinion, is the Twisby Vac 700R. With this pen, you can seal it up, have a bit of ink by the feed that's going to last you through an average flight time fairly well, and you won't have any issues with the ink getting anywhere. So the Twisby Vac 700R is a really good option because it's much more robust than a pen like the Pilot Custom 823, which would also be Good for this but it's just a bit more delicate and frankly I would feel like it's probably not suited for the kind of bumps and bruises you get in your average travel adventure especially getting through TSA now another issue with the Twisby might be its ink capacity it holds a lot of ink you might want to check and make sure that it doesn't hold too much ink that they won't let you on the plane and also the Twisby Vac 700 has so much ink the ink might last you for your entire vacation it also comes in a variety of nibs, and those nibs are really lovely and smooth and a lot of fun to write with. Personally, I recommend the medium. I think a medium nib is a nice compromise between thickness and showing a full expression of whatever ink you're using. So that's my first choice. So once you've landed, now you need a pen to go to the beach to go around town and maybe you don't want to carry a full-size pen you want something lighter you want something more portable well nothing springs to mind quite like the Kaweco Sport especially the plastic versions these are light pens with absolutely brilliant Kaweco nibs they are cartridge or converters maybe for a vacation you might want to bring some cartridges with you the pens are so light they are very tough. They're easy to toss into a tote bag for the beach. You don't have to worry about it getting scratched up or damaged. You can easily slip it into your pocket as you travel around. Barely know it's there, but when it's time to write a quick note, to do a little journaling here or there, or to sign a receipt, that pen will be ready and able to go for you. So it's really great for travel. So for your more energetic, your more adventurous vacations, you also might consider the brass version or the bronze version. These are very tough pens, and the more that you beat them up, the more interesting they look. They have all the benefits of a regular Kaweco Sport, plus they're so tough, you could literally drive a truck over this pen and nothing is going to happen. So it's great if you're going hiking, you're going rock climbing, or anywhere else where you just really don't want to worry about your pen at all. Plus, it's easy to stow, but once you unscrew it and put it together, it's a very comfortable, good-sized pen for anything you need to do. My next suggestion is a pen that's fantastic for going to museums and for taking quick notes on what you're seeing or any sort of historic sites. You want a pen that's very tough, but also easily accessible, easy to write with, and a lot of fun. So it's the Pilot Vanishing Point. It is the perfect museum jotter pen, easy to clip anywhere onto yourself. Just reach for it, grab it, click it, you're ready to go. If you have a pocket notebook, where you want to take some field notes about certain paintings you just saw. Super easy to use, very sophisticated pen. It has a gold nib that's smooth, generous in its flow, and it's absolutely brilliant. The one downside is that that Pilot Con 40 converter is just not that great at holding a vast amount of ink. If you're writing all day, you might run out of ink at some point. But other than that, Super convenient, very tough, very fun pen to write with, a very sophisticated pen as well. 
So my next choice is a great pen for travel because it's one of those pens that you can take your mind off completely. And when you're traveling, maybe you don't want to give too much thought to your choice of fountain pen. You just want a pen with you that's going to be reliable, tough, and fun to use. So my suggestion in this category is the Lamy Safari. The Lamy Safari is an awesome pen. It's very tough. It's actually made out of the same material as Lego. So it's very hard to hurt. It's inexpensive, so if something should happen to it and you should lose it along the way, it won't be such a hit to you. It might hurt your heart because it is such a great pen and it'd be tough to lose, but at least it's easy enough to replace according to your pocketbook. It's also a fantastic writer. Lamy nibs are some of the best nibs out there. Each pen is tested before it leaves the factory. Their quality control is very high. I personally love their 1.1 stub, their calligraphy nib. It's one of my favorite nibs. So it's just an all around great pen for taking to museums, out to parks, and wherever your travels take you this summer. So my last suggestion is for those of you that like to pack as lightly as possible, which makes a lot of sense when the airlines are charging you, what, $150 to bring a bag. So if you're trying to refine things down to the smallest, lightest thing that you can, but you still want to bring a brilliant fountain pen with you, my choice would be the absolutely brilliant Kaweco Lilliput. This is such a tiny pocket pen. It's almost comically small. Your biggest problem may be keeping an eye on it. It can easily get washed in your pants or roll away somewhere, it's that small. But once you put it together, it is a fine size pen. Fits in my fairly large hands easily. It has a brilliant full-size Kaweco nib and it's super fun, smooth, expressive. It's an absolute joy to write with. It uses a cartridge, so you might wanna bring some backup cartridges with you and that way you'll have enough ink for all of your adventures. But this is a perfect pen for slipping into your coin pocket and just having it with you on the ready wherever you go, whether it's in the forum in Rome or out in the middle of the Sahara Desert. This pen is so light, so unobtrusive, and so brilliant for travel. It might be the only pen you need. So, what do you think of my choices? Are there any other pens that you suggest for taking on the road? Leave them in the comments, I'd love to hear it. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you've reached this point and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? I think you enjoy this channel. Subscribe, follow along. Also, membership is available. Come behind the scenes, take part in our letter exchange and see what's going on back here. It's a lot of fun. So I release new videos each Friday and I have a live show Tuesday nights at eight. So I promise we will see each other again very soon, maybe out in the world somewhere further up the road. So take care. right now.